Hello Guardians, Ember here again with another one for you. Today I wanted to talk about the Typen 4FR and what the new lights are going to be going through to get this weapon leveled up and raid ready so they can get into some of that endgame activities, uh, dungeons, raids, things like that and be doing damage to keep up with their other fire team members. Before we get into it, please make sure to go below the video here, like, subscribe, ring the bell, I always like to uh, get feedback and see what it is you like to see from me on the channel here. And if there's anything that you would like to see moving forward, don't hesitate. Throw a comment down there. And don't forget to stick around for the end of the video where I will have an original meme put up. Anyway, let's get into it. So what kind of drove me into making this video in the first place is that, you know, you go up here, you see I have about 1,700 legendary shards. It's not a huge amount. I definitely know Guardians who have tons and tons more than that, but that's still enough that I could go to Hawthorne, pick up some raid banners, and head over to the Shirochi encounter in the Last Wish raid, fire off as many rounds as it gets me, wipe, and just rinse and repeat. But for the New Light Guardians, they don't really have the legendary shards to be spending on that. You know, they're going to be saving up for good armor rolls at Xur. They're going to be saving up for those uh, exotics and the uh, exotic that gives you a, a random unobtained exotic from Xur as well. There's all kinds of things they're already sinking all those legendary shards into. And so I wanted to find a way that the New Lights specifically would be able to go in and get the new Typen Fusion Rifle leveled up to the point where it can be about raid ready. I have this right now with Triple Tap and Frenzy. Those are around level eight, I believe, while you're leveling up the Typen. And I got to that level in about four or five runs of this activity right here. Let's see, the Dares of Eternity here. So for those of you that don't know, the Dares of Eternity is kind of a, a fun game show that Xur hosts. Uh, you can go in there, it's a six player activity and you're going to go through all kinds of different rounds and through some of these rounds you're going to be able to gain something called star horse's favor you'll see kind of where my mouse is over here above where our uh you know our super meter our abilities usually are you're going to see uh i'll show you on the screen once we get into the dares of eternity but i'm going to have a buff over on this side occasionally that will say star horse's favor and what that does is it continuously gives you heavy ammo for whatever weapon you're using and i was getting to the point where if i were obtaining star horse's favor before specifically going into the second activity area i could use nothing but the fusion rifle the entire time the whole time i'd be able to just fire off as many as i could I was getting huge amounts of enemies, and usually the enemies, red bars, they count for about 1%, uh, the orange bars, they'll count for about 2 to 3%, and the yellow bars will count to a, for about 3 or 4 or 5%. It kind of depends. I saw champions were counting for a little less than the other yellow bar enemies, um, but either way. So I do kind of want to go into the relic here for a minute. I'm going to have to change off of this typing while we do this. We're going to go into reshape. And I just want to show off some of these perks that you can get with it. So like I said, you know, you can get triple tap. That unlocks at level 8 specifically. Uh, and same with Frenzy. Frenzy gets level 8 and then you're able to unlock it. What I will probably do is uh, I'm going to keep triple tap and I'm going to upgrade it to enhanced triple tap. Uh, that will obviously be at level 15, which I'm almost there. Um, but what we're really looking forward to is the enhanced firing line trait. That trait is uh, really good for kind of just being able to group up with your team in raid scenarios and deal big damage to the bosses over and over and over. And uh, so we will go ahead and get into some of these Dares of Eternity real quick. See you there. So when you load up the activity here, you will load in with a, a little bit of ammo, but I mean, to be honest, this first intro area, it's not really going to be super important for your overall farming of these levels on this weapon. You're going to get a few kills with it here and there, but it's really not too big of an issue. 
Uh, you know, there's not an, a way to get Star Horse's favor, so if someone throws down a banner, that's a great way to fill up your ammo reserves and to prepare for this first little area. While you're in this area, you know, you'll get to see which enemies you're going to be fighting. And then there will also be, uh, you know, some, some pockets of enemies that kind of spawn relatively near each other so just try and find some of those you'll get your full reserves if someone has put down a banner but again you know we're talking about no banners being placed by at least us so that we can make sure to uh you know go through this without the necessarily similar kind of process as shirochi really it's not really too hard to run through all of your ammo in here like i was saying you're just gonna be kind of trying to get as many of these different enemies as possible because once we head up into the next area that's really going to be where we get into the actual meat of what we're going to be farming for with these levels uh, this next part is really important we want to gain star horse's favor for this second encounter so you'll see at the launch pad here there's a sphere with two halves you want to line up uh, the rotating halves with that stationary half that's over there as well and so once you see the half sphere line up with the stationary one you'll want to run in and that's basically a nice way to guarantee yourself star horse's favor because that's pretty much the most difficult part you're going to be having a little bit of a obstacle course in through here but it's not too too difficult as long as you're patient it's really not a big deal and you'll make it through just fine in the next area, there is another place to put down a raid banner, so if you do miss Star Horse's favor, unfortunately, uh, it's not going to be the end of the world. If someone else throws a raid banner down, you'll be able to get full reserves. After that, I like to find a nice little perch somewhere off uh, on the side is, is pretty well suited to farming for these levels here. You can pretty much just pick off any of the enemies you see from range since it is a linear fusion rifle it makes it pretty nice for that there is a range limit obviously you know i've been kind of reaching that a little bit here in this clip but you know we'll prioritize our orange bars and our yellow bars and then we'll hit our red bars you do have to get the final hit on these enemies for it to count towards your progression though I did want to focus on this encounter with the Fallen for a minute. There are a lot of these orange bar shanks, and you can see, you know, we're going to have a lot of opportunity to get after a lot of them. Uh, they're going to give you each around 2% or so while we're, we're farming for them here. So it's they really just kind of come nonstop. You can, you can look one way. If they stop showing up there, you'll be able to turn around and you'll find a big old pile of them wherever you're looking next and so if you can kind of single out the ones that are on the edges first and not shoot the ones that are directly in the middle you'll be able to kind of maximize the amount of these shanks that you're able to farm because you're not going to be having them all blow each other up that's a uh, one thing you'll kind of see over here in a second i will kind of make a turn and shoot one of the shanks that's right uh in the middle and they're all so close together that it just blows up all of them and i only get one kill rather than all of the kills for uh those shanks there for them so you can just continue to farm you know as usual it's not really uh you know too difficult but i mean as you can really see i'm never running out of ammo as long as i have the star horse's favor here um i did not get any of the footage with Star Horse's favor in the second room, but you'll kind of see there are these three large doors with different symbols and a plate that corresponds. This is all luck. It's all luck of the draw. There's no way to tell which one is going to appear with Star Horse's favor, and if you don't get it, you get Star Horse's penalty for a minute. Uh, that's not really too big of a deal, but you don't get the infinite uh, recharge that you would like to get. Um, you're really able to just kind of post up find some of these enemies here whatever works best hopefully you find uh, a good amount of yellow bars orange bars the uh, hive one uh, in the second room here spawns a significant amount of yellow bars i actually found tons of them uh, in the forms of wizards champions and uh, knights just in general just regular knights as you'll be able to see there's a lot all over the place and really no shortage. You just want to do your best to make sure you're getting the last hit on these knights again. Like a, That's very important when it comes to making sure we're, we're doing the farm correctly. 
And lastly, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get this footage here, but I was able to get one of the lightning rounds to drop for me. That is a very great way to, you know, especially if you did not get Star Horse's favor going into the final activity here and you're not really heavy, uh, heavy ammo full then this is a great way to kind of make up for that a little bit. You get you get into here, you'll see there's a larger enemy in the your little radius of B there. Once that is killed, it spawns a heavy chest. So you can go over to those heavy chests, and they fill you completely all the way up to the brim with your heavy ammo. So that's another way that you can continue to farm for a lot of these activities. And that's going to be all for me this time, but I appreciate any of the Guardians stopping by. Remember, this type of farm is uh, definitely meant for those who, you know, don't necessarily have too many legendary shards and need to kind of level up their weapons a different way. I will say, this is probably one of my more entertaining ways, for sure, and you can definitely get some great rolls on some of the Dare's weapons, get those red box farm uh, weapons out of the way so you can be getting into some of the stuff like that. Don't forget to uh, check out under in the description of this video here for a link to my Twitch channel. I do go live every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from about 1 p.m. to about 7 p.m. Pacific time and uh, stick around. I'm going to be throwing the meme up for you here in just a sec and uh, until next time, Guardians, do remember be without form, swift as lightning. Thanks, and see you next time. Returns empty handed from the dares of eternity. Good night.